AM broadcast band, band scan on my DX160. Uh, this one needed uh, repair, but I got it repaired. We're going to do an AM band scan. WCNW, Fairfield, Ohio. Minnesota. And I don't like what I heard. Because, you know, I think what we all like about Mike Zimmer is what you see is what you get. And there's not a lot. Mike. 1450, the ticket, Hamilton, Ohio. Coming up at 404, Mike Zimmer sounding unlike Mike Zimmer. By the way, That's helpful for you there, Jack. We didn't get to uh, Jim in Jacksonville, Chris in Washington, or even Pat in Detroit. Sorry we couldn't get to you. Uh, we will be on the air with uh, Dr. David Andrews at this same time next week. God willing, in the creek don't rise, right? Amen. Amen. <laughs> Thank you so much for all that you do for us, Dr. David. We'll see you again next week. Thank you so much, Tom. Appreciate it. Don't forget, uh, tomorrow at the same time, open line went, uh, Friday with Colin Donovan answering your uh, deeply theological questions. Colin will be here, and of course, uh, next week we'll be doing it again with all of our great hosts, except on Wednesday. That's the point. Okay, let me throw this out, and I think Ed would, uh, would agree with me on this. I mean, this is... WLW, 50,000-watt flamethrower, just about 8 miles, 10 miles from me. ...things that Ed and I do, we try to entertain people, right? So... WTBN. On 55 KRZ, the talk station. 
WKRC 55. Anyway, that was a man's can on my DX160 from the 70s. Um, this one's got an oddly painted cabinet. It's painted black. Some of the cabinet must have been messed up and somebody painted it black. But it works well. It needed a little repair, but nothing that uh, was too hard to do. All right. Thanks, guys. I hope you enjoyed the AM band scan on my DX160.